Hey guys, what's going on, friend London? Here, you guys know what to do. As always, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today, we might actually have some good news based on a video that I made a couple days ago. I'll leave that up on the card if you want to go check it out. But we finally have good news. Chelsea target Alex Telles isn't joining Paris Saint Germain yet. So, obviously, I made it. I'll just go over it quickly. I made a video a couple days ago. Um, news came out that Alex Telles is rejecting Chelsea in favour of moving to PSG. Um, apparently they were in very advanced talks. Now let's just read through this article quickly. A couple of days ago, the news from Alex Telles' home state in Brazil was that the 27-year-old left-back was in advanced talks with PSG, which are expected to conclude soon and thus provide payments for his local clubs that he played as a youngster. It all seemed rather hopeful, especially during these pandemic conditions. And sure enough, here comes a report from France, and this is through Le, Le Parisien. Um, uh, that is a reporter, as you can see here on the transfer reliability guide. He has a mixed history, so you know, some sometimes he's been right and he's called these things well, sometimes he's been wrong. So, you know, take from that what you will. This top section here is very reliable. Mixed history is, you know, some right, some wrong. Unreliable is this bottom section, and then the bottom tier is just banned, where they are just not worth talking about basically because they'll just pull things out of thin air. Um, that those early reports are wide of the mark is the direct quoted report which if you don't if you're not familiar with the phrase that basically means you know if this is the target then they were out here they, they weren't on target um, while TELUS is acknowledged as a target for the next transfer window PSG have not been able to advance in negotiations precisely because of this pandemic presumably they will try to conclude talks when this crisis caused by the virus is done and dusted or at least when things start to improve but no one has a definitive date for that yet. Therefore, there is still a chance for Chelsea to turn all these uh, years of Alex Sales rumours into reality. Will we do it? And that does pose a great question. Will we do it? Will we sign Alex Telles? I think we're going to give it a damn good shot, and you've got to have faith that the club are going to do everything in their power to get Alex Telles, because, I mean, like... I if us as fans can see the quality that Alex Telles provides, so if you've seen videos of him, I'm hoping if you haven't, then go check them out. There's plenty on YouTube of these highlight sort of real videos. Of course, highlight reels are biased in a sense because all you're going to see are the best clips. They're not going to do highlight reels of him getting mugged off, are they? So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt when you're seeing him stealing around players, making great tackles, making great passes, goals, all these sorts of things. You know, these are his best bits. So it's like... If they made highlight reels of any player's best bits, they'm sure they'd look pretty great. But then, you know, you see the rest of the game, you watch them for 90 minutes, like week in, week out, you get you get a better judge of the player. I've been going back to and looking at a few of Alex Telles's um, like match archives, and this guy really is good. So if you guys haven't, you need to start looking these up and watching this guy because his just his ad attacking prowess is amazing to see, and he's in his prime at 27 years old. You know, tw I would say about 26 to 29, 30-ish, is where a player's prime years are. You know, they've built up all their skills. At this point, they've got a lot of experience. They're like mentally, physically, their body is fine-tuned for this section of their career. This is where they're at their best. So we need to be getting in on Alex Ellis right now. Ideally, we would have got him a year or two ago, but it's not happened. We still have the chance to get him. Do I think we will get that? Get that purchase done and get Alex Ellis in. If I had to put a one to ten, um, you know, sort of number on it, I would say I'm maybe a six, six point five. It does scare me that PSG are after him because everyone knows they're a giant club, and if he goes to them, then we know he's about the money, and it's a big move where he's going to win easy league titles, and that's sort of maybe how he wants his career to go. He just wants that like trophy cabinet of yeah, I won this, I won this. Even though it's not a hard-fought trophy to win, he comes to Chelsea. He's a part of a great current project, building up a, a core of youth team. He could be an experienced guy in that team, providing the balls into the box for Tammy Abraham and any other striker that we're planning on bringing in. You know, we've got our good wingers, we've got a good core of defence. The midfield is amazing at the moment. We've got a good team, but that left-back position is one that needs improving. And if he can visualise, you know, okay, this is the Chelsea team. I can slot in right here and I think that makes us a great team then I, I don't know how he can see past that if he's got the right ambitions I think he could end up at Chelsea and 
I really hope he does because this guy could be an absolute beast for us. Like imagine Alex Telles crossing in, like overlapping with one of the wingers, crossing in to Tammy Abraham to head in. Like I need to see it week in, week out. I do think we have a good chance. Of course, PSG are going to offer the higher wages, but the better competition is the Premier League. And I hope that Alex Telles sees sense. Hopefully, he ends up in a Chelsea shirt. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.